For years, scientists could only guess what lies 3,000 miles beneath our feet, using earthquake signals and magnetic shifts to uncover the unknown. But what if those guesses were completely wrong? Now they've found something so shocking at Earth's core that it rewrites everything we thought we knew. And it might be the final warning that the end is near. Stay tuned, because this discovery could change the fate of our planet forever. At the very heart of the planet is the inner core, a solid sphere made mostly of iron and nickel. It's under so much pressure that, despite the scorching heat, the metal stays solid. Scientists estimate that temperatures here rival those on the surface of the sun. That means the inner core is a blazing hot ball of metal trapped under extreme forces. But why does this matter? Because it affects how seismic waves travel, helping scientists uncover the layers that sit above it. Before we go any further, what scientists just uncovered deep within the Earth's core is far more shocking than anyone expected. And this revelation is only the beginning of what will leave you speechless. Wrapping around the inner core is the outer core, a massive ocean of liquid metal that never stops moving. This swirling molten iron is the reason Earth has a magnetic field. If it weren't for this natural shield, deadly radiation from space would fry the planet's surface. Even more fascinating, this magnetic field doesn't stay the same. It shifts, wobbles, and has even flipped in the past. That's right, North and South Poles have switched places before, and it could happen again. What kind of chaos would that bring? Above the outer core sits the mantle, a layer of rock that is constantly shifting over millions of years. Heat from the core drives this slow movement, pushing and pulling the giant plates that make up Earth's crust. When these plates crash into each other, we get earthquakes, volcanoes, and even entire continents drifting apart. The land we walk on isn't as steady as it seems. It's floating on a sea of rock that's always in motion. Could this unstoppable force be hiding even bigger dangers? Billions of years ago, when Earth was young and violent, heavy metals sank into the center while lighter materials floated to the top. This separation created the core, the mantle, and the crust as we know them today. But the core didn't stop evolving. Over time, the inner core grew as molten iron from the outer core cooled and solidified. This process still happens today, but at an incredibly slow pace. Some scientists even believe the inner core isn't uniform, but has different layers within itself. Could it be shifting in ways we don't fully understand yet? Since no human or machine has ever reached the core, scientists rely on indirect methods to study it. The most useful tool? Earthquakes. When seismic waves travel through the planet, they change speed and direction depending on the material they hit. By mapping these waves, scientists can piece together what's hidden beneath the surface. Another method involves tracking shifts in the magnetic field, which tells us about the movement of the outer core. But with so much left to learn, could we be missing something even more groundbreaking? The heat from the core plays a much bigger role than most people realize. It fuels geothermal energy, causing steam to rise from hot springs and powering volcanic eruptions. This same heat is responsible for the slow but relentless movement of Earth's surface, shaping mountains, trenches, and even entire continents. If the core weren't as hot as it is, Earth would be a much quieter, colder place. But with the planet's surface constantly changing, what other forces could be at play? The most mind-bending part of all this is how the core shapes the Earth's magnetic field. This invisible shield not only protects us from deadly solar winds, but also helps animals navigate long distances. Birds, sea turtles and even some insects rely on this magnetic force to find their way. But the magnetic field is far from stable. It weakens, shifts and even disappears temporarily before flipping completely. If that were to happen today, how would modern technology, including GPS and satellites, handle such a massive shift? Another fascinating detail about the core is that it's still growing. As the outer core loses heat, 
more of its liquid iron solidifies onto the inner core. This slow buildup may seem unimportant, but it changes the balance of the entire planet. Some studies suggest that parts of the inner core might even rotate slightly faster or slower than the rest of the Earth. Could this unseen movement be influencing events on the surface without us even realizing it? Humans have tried to reach deep into the Earth, but we've barely scratched the surface. The deepest hole ever drilled, the Kola Super Deep Borehole, only made it about seven miles down, nowhere near the core. The deeper we go, the more extreme the temperatures and pressures become, making direct exploration impossible. For now, we are left to study the core from a distance, relying on seismic data and computer simulations. But what if one day we find a way to break through? The core isn't just made of iron and nickel, there are likely lighter elements mixed in as well. Scientists believe small amounts of sulfur, oxygen and carbon could be present, trapped since the Earth's formation. These elements could be changing how heat moves through the core, or even affecting the magnetic field. The exact composition remains a question, but each discovery brings us closer to understanding the forces shaping our planet. Could there be surprises waiting deep below the surface? The relationship between the core and the mantle is another area full of unknowns. Heat from the core rises into the mantle, creating hotspots that fuel volcanic activity. Some of the world's most powerful volcanoes sit above these hotspots, erupting with incredible force. This heat exchange has shaped Earth's history, creating massive islands and even altering global climate. What other hidden interactions between the core and the mantle could be affecting the planet in ways we don't yet realize? Even though we can't see it, the core's influence is everywhere. From the shifting continents to the protective magnetic field, this hidden powerhouse keeps the planet running. If the core were to stop generating heat, Earth would become a lifeless rock floating in space. Luckily, that won't happen for billions of years. But as we continue to study this fiery heart of the planet, could we uncover something that changes our entire understanding of Earth? Scientists have found something deep inside the Earth that changes what we thought we knew. Deep down beneath the ground we walk on, past miles of rock and searing hot metal, sits the heart of our planet, the inner core. For decades, scientists thought this core was a solid iron-nickel ball, compact and unchanging. But recent discoveries have thrown a wrench in that idea, hinting that Earth's core might not be as rock-solid as we once believed. We've been told for ages that Earth is made up of four main layers, the crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. The crust, the layer we live on, is just a thin shell of solid rock. Under that is the mantle, a mass of slow-moving rock that churns over time. Then comes the outer core, a pool of molten metal constantly shifting. At the center, we thought, was the inner core, supposedly an unbreakable metal sphere. That might not be true anymore. Seismologists, the scientists who study how earthquakes shake up the planet, have long relied on seismic waves to map Earth's insides. In the early 20th century, a Danish scientist named Inga Lehmann noticed something odd in the way these waves traveled. She concluded that Earth had a solid inner core separate from the liquid outer core. For nearly a century, that idea stuck. But new research is revealing a much stranger reality. Thanks to modern technology, scientists can track seismic waves more precisely than ever. They found something surprising. These waves don't travel through the inner core the same way in every direction. If the core were truly solid, waves should move through it evenly. But they don't. This suggests that the core isn't completely solid at all. It might be changing in ways we never expected. The biggest shock came from seismic data gathered between the early 1990s and today. Waves traveling through the inner core were behaving strangely, showing patterns that hinted at movement. Some scientists think the surface of the inner core isn't static. It's actually shifting over time. That means the inner core could be a lot more dynamic than anyone ever thought. Why would the core be changing? 
One theory suggests it's being shaped by the outer core's movement. The outer core is a chaotic swirl of liquid metal, and its turbulence could be pushing and pulling at the inner core's structure. If that's true, then the shape of the inner core is constantly warping, influenced by forces deep within the planet. The idea of a perfectly round, unchanging core is starting to crumble. And then there's the wild idea that the inner core isn't even sitting perfectly in the middle of the planet. Some researchers suspect it's slightly off-center, drifting inside Earth. If this is true, it would have major consequences for how we understand Earth's magnetic field. The core generates the field that protects us from deadly solar radiation, and if the core is moving, that could change how this shield works over time. Another head-scratcher is the composition of the inner core. While we know it's mostly iron and nickel, some experts believe it might contain more lightweight elements than we ever imagined. These extra elements could be affecting how the core behaves, shifting its density and temperature in ways we haven't fully grasped yet. This could be another reason seismic waves act so unpredictably when passing through. The inner core's behavior is crucial to understanding Earth's magnetic field. The swirling motion of the liquid outer core generates electric currents, which in turn create the magnetic field. If the inner core is shifting or reshaping, it might be influencing how that field behaves. Could this mean changes in Earth's magnetic field in the future? It's a possibility worth paying attention to. The biggest problem with studying the core is that we can't see it. No drills can reach that deep, and no probes can survive the conditions down there. Scientists are forced to rely on indirect evidence, like seismic waves, to make educated guesses. But as technology improves, so does our ability to gather clearer data. Each new discovery has the potential to rewrite what we thought we knew. The idea that Earth's inner core is solid and still might be wrong, and what's really happening deep inside, is more surprising than anyone expected. For the longest time, people believed Earth's inner core was a solid, unchanging ball of metal, sitting quietly at the center of the planet. Turns out that idea might be completely wrong. New research suggests the core isn't sitting still at all, it could be shifting and reshaping itself, almost like a super-thick, slow-moving fluid. This isn't some wild guess. It's backed by seismic data, the same kind used to study earthquakes. If true, it flips everything we thought we knew about Earth's deepest layers. Let's break it down. The Earth has layers, kind of like an onion, but way more complicated. The top is the crust, the solid surface we live on. Below that is the mantle, a thick layer of slowly moving rock. Then there's the outer core made of molten metal, mainly iron and nickel. Finally, at the very center is the inner core, historically thought to be solid, but new research is making that look questionable. If the inner core isn't entirely solid, what does that mean for the way our planet works? Scientists study Earth's insides by analyzing seismic waves from earthquakes. These waves travel through the planet and react differently depending on the materials they pass through. If the inner core were truly a solid ball, waves would behave predictably. But that's not what's happening. Instead, scientists have found that seismic waves slow down, speed up and even change direction hinting at something more complex happening inside. Seismic records from earthquakes between 1991 and 2024, especially near the South Sandwich Islands, revealed some surprises. The inner core seems to be reshaping itself, showing that it isn't as stable as once thought. Something is making it morph, twist and even shift. This isn't just a small detail, it changes the entire way we understand Earth's structure. One big reason for this could be the wild movements happening in the outer core. Since the outer core is a swirling mass of molten metal, it could be affecting the inner core in ways we never expected. Scientists suspect that the extreme heat and pressure differences between these layers are pushing and pulling the inner core, leading to slow but constant reshaping. The core may not be liquid like the outer core, 
but it certainly isn't sitting still either. Another surprising possibility is that the inner core isn't perfectly centered in the planet. Some scientists think it might actually be a little off-center, wobbling around due to the chaotic flow of molten metal in the outer core. If that's true, it could help explain why Earth's magnetic field isn't perfectly stable. Since the magnetic field is generated by movements in the outer core, anything messing with the inner core's position could have a ripple effect on the entire planet's magnetism. The inner core's composition adds another layer of complexity. We know it's mostly iron and nickel, but the exact mix is still a question. Some studies suggest it could contain more light elements than previously thought, which would change how it reacts to pressure and temperature. That, in turn, could affect how it shifts and reshapes itself over time. The more scientists dig into it, the more it looks like the inner core isn't as uniform as once believed. Infrastructure could take a hit too. Power grids, pipelines and other essential networks are sensitive to geomagnetic activity. If the magnetic field weakens, electrical currents in these systems could spike, leading to failures or costly damage. We've already seen how solar storms can knock out power in entire regions. Now imagine that happening more frequently. The potential for widespread blackouts, communication disruptions and infrastructure breakdowns is real, all because of what's happening deep below our feet. Some might argue this is just another natural cycle, something Earth has been dealing with for millions of years. And that's partly true. Earth's core has always been active. But never before have we been so dependent on precise technology, global communication and uninterrupted power. The world we've built is fragile, and it's built on the assumption that Earth itself is stable. If that assumption turns out to be wrong, what happens next? The scariest part is, we don't fully understand what's going on. Scientists are still trying to piece together what's really happening in the inner core. Is this just a slow, natural process, or is something bigger at play? Could these changes be leading to a major shift in Earth's inner structure? If so, are we prepared for the consequences? Is this shocking discovery proof that Earth's core is changing in ways we can't control? Or have scientists been wrong all along? Tell us what you think and remember to like and subscribe for more.